Hi, my name is John Stone and I work for Eco Drive Transmissions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to read a ZF ID plate and what important information we need at Eco Drive prior to contacting us for parts or exchange units. Starting from the top left of the type plate, that gives us our family type of the gearbox. For this particular unit, it's an Eco Split. To the right of that, it gives us the type of gearbox. So this is a 16S1820 TO. Now that tells me that that's got 16 gears. It's a synchromesh gearbox. The torque rating for uh, the engine going into the gearbox and that it's an overdrive gearbox, TO, truck overdrive. The next part down is the 10 figure part number. Now this is the important information that we need at EcoDrive to identify the actual unit and specification that you're talking about. It's a 10 figure part number for all ZF products and it's split into four, three and three, as you can see on this one. Now that's important because that tells us the specification of the actual unit that you're uh, requiring a replacement or replacement parts for. So we can go into the ZF system and identify what you actually require. Next to that, you've got the serial number. Again, this is very, very important information because this tells us what that particular unit was built with from original manufacturer from the factory. Now, normally that's a six digit number. There is alternatives to some of the products, but normally it's six, maybe a seven digit number. The next one down is the actual customer number. This, I can see, is an MEM part number, so this gearbox fits in an MEN unit. So, that'll be different for different manufacturers. The next line down tells me the ratio of the actual gearbox. Now, this is only really used for PTO specifications to calculate what you need uh, out of the back end to operate your port pumping equipment. Next to that is the TACO ratio. Again, this is important information not for us at EcoDrive, but for when the vehicle manufacturer is calibrating the TACO, things like that. The next line down is all the PTO information. Now, this one is blank, as is most of uh, the type plates that you will see out there, because they only enter that information if it's original build from the factory, and that is not very common. Most PTO equipment is retrofitted. The last line on the type plate is the oil specifications and quantity. Now this is important to you guys who are fitting these units because you need to know what specification of oil to fit in these and the service intervals that oil will give you. So the first part of it gives you the TEML rating, so TEML02. Okay, so if you visit our website, you can find the actual proved lubrication listings for TEML02 and what the intervals uh, the, the oil change intervals are for them particular oils. These are all oils specified by the ZF manufacturer in Germany. Next to that you've got the actual quantity. Now this is from dry. When you receive a replacement unit you may not be able to get that particular quantity into the unit because there'll still be residue from the testing and things from uh, the uh, Eco Drive test rig. Okay so this shows the location of the ID plate on this particular gearbox. The ID plate will be located in different positions dependent on the type of gearbox. So what I want to do now is show you on some alternative units where this ID plate is located. So as you can see, these ID plates can be put in various locations. On this Aestronic within Tarda, it's in this location. Obviously in the vehicle they can be dirty and grimy, so let's go and have a look at one which has just come out of the vehicle. Okay, so you've seen on an exchange units where the uh, type plate is located. Now this is on a dirty unit out of the vehicle and now you're probably going to find the type plate in this condition. So what I'm going to do is just clean the uh, type plate with a little bit of solvent cleaner and a rag just to give it a bit of the road dirt off it and then you may find that it's been painted over like this one. In the right light you can actually see the detail but just with a bit of emery it's sometimes better to just give it a little bit of a rub just to reveal the numbers. Now what you don't want to do is press too hard on this because 
you can actually rub off the numbers and then you've lost the information that we need. So again, you've revealed the 10 figure part number of the unit and the serial number of the unit to make the relevant inquiries for parts and replacement units. So if you are unable to locate this type plate, please contact us on our website at www.ecodrive.co.uk. Thank you.